much as it's good to seek forgiveness from those that we offend in this world, and we ought to do that, it's even more important that we receive God's forgiveness, which comes through the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross. And God did this, as it says at the end of verse 7, going through verse 8, according to the riches of his grace that he richly poured out on us with all wisdom and understanding. In that phrase, the riches of his grace that he richly poured out, Paul uses two different words talking about God's riches. The first is to point out that just how great God's grace is. God doesn't just show grace. He shows abundant grace, rich grace. He has a wealth of grace greater than we can possibly comprehend. I want you to picture a mansion from that show, DuckTales. In the show, Scrooge McDuck would go into his money vault, dive into his money, throw it up in the air, and even count all of his money just by swimming around in it, right? Um, whenever I watched that show as a kid, I always thought it would be so cool to have that one, right? It'd be more than I ever needed, right? I could, I could buy whatever I wanted. I could give it out to anyone who ever had a need and I would never have to worry about anything at all about that, having enough. I, I, I don't think I'm alone in having, have, having had that dream, right? How much money? But in reality, God's wealth of grace is even greater than that. Because Scrooge McDuck in the show could count all of his money but God's grace is greater than we can possibly imagine. We can't fathom the riches of God's grace. We can't measure it. It's so much greater than we can possibly ever count. It's so much more and so much greater, and yet it's silly that at times we wondered if God's grace is big enough to cover even my sin or someone else's sin. God's grace is big enough to cover every sin and then some. The Bible it's abundantly clear. Where sin abounded, God's grace abounded all the more because of the riches of God's grace. The second reference uh, to riches in these verses is a verb that we translate as both a, a verb and an adverb. How God richly poured out. How God richly poured out his grace on us. Or some versions say he lavished his grace on us. The idea is really that God caused his grace to superabound uh, toward us. He didn't just slap a little grace on us like a band-aid. He overwhelmed us with grace because that's what we needed. It'd be like if someone had, had was in need of a major surgery, like a gunshot wound. Anybody here been shot by a gun? Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, But it's, it's just like somebody got shot by a gunshot, shot by a gun, had a gunshot wound, but they, th but they thought that they could just walk away with a little first aid. Yeah, a gunshot wound is, a, it calls for major medical surgery. Uh, no matter what you may have seen at, on television before, it's going to take a little more than a, a, some alcohol wipes and, and gauze to treat it properly. But so often in life, we settle for the band-aid. We want to go about living as if there's nothing wrong when God wants to wants us to bask in his grace. He wants us to see just how great our sin is and how his grace is even greater and, and then live with a confidence according to the knowledge of his grace in our lives. Paul says that God showered us with, his, with this grace with all wisdom and understanding. See, none, nothing about our sin or his need to show us grace caught God off guard. Our sin didn't catch him off guard. His response of grace wasn't a last resort to save us. No, God knew exactly what he was going to do from the very beginning. When Jesus walked on the earth, the Bible records that Jesus knew what was in man. He knew. He knew what he was doing. He was familiar with all of our struggles, all of our temptations, all of our pain. The book of Hebrews says that Jesus is the high priest who could sympathize with all of our weaknesses. Jesus. And despite all of that, or maybe we should say because of all that, Jesus went to the cross 
and die for our sins. See, God knew exactly what we needed. God is wise, has all understanding. God knew to what extent we failed, even continue to fail. God knew and it, that it wouldn't just take a little forgiveness, but a whole lot of forgiveness, a whole lot of grace. God knew that forgiving us would cause him pain and tears and even Jesus' own blood. And yet God was willing and even wanted to pay that price to show us how much he loves us.